Hi, welcome to the next Flow Rhythm tutorial. Um, I've just had a, an email from someone who's asking me um, to help them with a geometry calculator. And I was looking back through the YouTube videos and I noticed that I've, I've actually got videos already for everything that that student needs. There is a video for um, working out the area of a circle, there is a video for working out the area of a triangle. There's not a video for working out the area of a rectangle, but I'm sure you can extrapolate from that what's already given. Um, the only thing I noticed that even though I have used it, I've not covered, is uh, a menu. So I'm going to show you um, one method of creating a menu in Flowgrhythm, and then you can obviously put in place the things that you want for your, um, for your program. So this is what we're going to look at. Um, I'm going to create a simple menu. So the first job that I would do is to declare a variable, because Flowgrhythm requires variables to be declared early. So we're going to declare a variable, and I'll call it menu choice. Now there's loads of different ways of creating menus in, uh, in programming languages. This is the version I'm going to do is just a simple nested if statement inside a while loop, but there's plenty of other methods of doing this. So the next thing is I'm going to assign a variable. So I'm going to assign menu choice to, the ver to value zero, just so it's got something signed. And then in my example, I'm going to have four options, one, two, three, and then four to exit. So what I'll do is I'll have a while loop. So if we click in the while loop, oh, I've got the wrong um, settings. Let's just put up the correct. Uh, where's it gone? Chart style. Let's get the right chart style up. Otherwise, defaulted back to that. Um, the color scheme, classic style. There we go. Better. Right. So we'll have a while loop, and we'll say that uh, while the menu choice is not equal to four. So four will be our exit. And then now we can build up our, um, our basic menu. So we'll have some outputs on here. So I'll have the, the word menu. Oops, I spelt wrong. Menu. We'll have our options. So output uh, option one. Option three and output option four. I'll just put the two exit to remind us that that's our, our quit. And then we'll ask here, we'll say, uh, please make. Please choose an option. Oops. There we go. So we've got our menu being displayed there. Um, at this point, we need to take our input in. So we're inputting menu choice. So this is the point at which the program will wait. So we can run it at this stage and see what it looks like. So let's run it. So let's turn off the bubbles, let's turn that off so it looks nicer. So menu, option one, option two, option three, option four, capital letter issue, but you can deal with that. Uh, please choose an option, so we're ready to go. Won't do anything yet, because we've not told it to. So uh, let's see what's next. So what we now need to do is put in our nested if statement. So we're gonna have a choice for each four items. So we want an if statement in there. We want, uh, this will be choice one. So if it's, menu choice is equal to one and if that's the case I'll just put an output we're just going to say uh, you chose one chose you chose chose it's not right chose chose uh, one doesn't quite look like that but never mind um, that's obviously where you'd put all your code for menu choice one if it's not one we want to check for two, so we nest it inside. So this is option two. Menu choice is equal to two. Okay, so same again. Another output here. Uh, you chose two. Nest again inside, so another one here. 
this will be number three. Menu choice is equal to three. Another output. You chose three. It really doesn't look like I spelled chose. Um, another one on the false. So if menu choice is equal to four. Now this one will be slightly different. So um, just here we'll have our standard output. Okay, so you chose four. But this time we need a false here because it's our last menu choice. So we're going to put invalid invalid choice. So the way that's going to work is if you chose number one, it will run whatever code you've done in here. So this might be your area of a circle. If it runs number two, it'll do this stuff here. This might be your uh, area of a rectangle. Number three, this stuff here. This might be your um, area of triangle or whatever the other one was. And you, menu four, this will be your exit here. Um, we'll change that actually. So you chose four. We'll change that to um, goodbye because that's the exit. And then if it's not one, not two, not three, or not four, they've obviously made some form of mistakes. This is our validation, our capsule. So this would be our invalid choice option. So we shall run that. Okay, let's just zoom out so we've got that all on the screen. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Um, so we're going to run this. We'll see if it works. So run the code. There's my menu, option one, two, three, four. Please choose an option. Do number one. Okay. So it chose one, it's run it, and it's redisplay my menu. Don't like that, that's better. Okay. Uh, option number two. You chose number two, redisplays the menu. Option number three. You chose number three. Option, redisplays the menu. Uh, I'll do six, which is not in our options. So invalid choice. And then I'll do four. Goodbye, program's ended. Okay. So that's a simple method of creating a menu. You should be able to take that alongside the other tutorials on, uh, on Flowgroom to complete your geometry calculator. Um, I hope that helps, I hope that answers your question. If you need any more specific advice, drop me another message.